Okay, let's go. No one knew that I was actually black when I had my white makeup on. For six weeks, two families, my family and a black family, got together in a house in the valley in LA, and we decided to swap races. Would go into makeup and become the opposite race. We became black, they became white, and we moved in together. We fucking living together, you know? It's not like, you know, you know see them for a little party, get together, and they go their way, and we go our way. No, at night, we all live under the same roof. The whole experience, it opened my eyes, just made me more aware of my race. I'm a pioneer in this because this is something that's never... Oh my God, dude. What the fuck? They busted out the calipers, bro. They're measuring his skull. Completely transformative. We got jobs, went shopping. Hey, white man. We would go out together. He's the honky. We were undercover. We had hidden cameras. We were sneaking around. Hello. We did it all. We're the Wurgles. A uh, typical white American family from Santa Monica. I just wanted to really poke See, he's his name is Bruno, bro. Like, like he's Italian. That's why it was acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Like, into the issue of race, and see if any flames would emerge. My mindset in life, I get from my father, as an immigrant, came to this country starting from scratch, and demonstrated that you get what you want by working extremely hard. I know what they stand for. I don't know how to. If anything, it's more inappropriate that, you know, the black family was doing Italian face, to be honest. <laughs> I was curious to see how the world would react to me as a black person. Many times I was shocked. I feel racist. We are the Sparks family. We just no! a typical black family from Atlanta. White family here, Vietnamese here, white here, Mexican here. Very diverse, but just like the UN, baby. Growing up in Michigan as light skin, green eyes, uh, big afro back in the early 70s, it was tough. I had to fight the darker skinned blacks because I was too light, and then I had to fight the whites because I was too dark. So I had racism from both sides. Being white felt oh. different. Wow. Very different. I was raised in a very liberal home, and my folks were involved with the civil I mean, remember, chat, I, I mean, he, he chose to do this, so, like, you know, he, he he chose to do this show, so he's giving me a little he's giving me a little conservative vibes, regardless. The rights movement. So I had compassion for people who have suffered by putting on another skin. I wanted to have a sense of what it's like to be black. I was raised by two hardworking parents who taught me to not use race as an excuse. You, as an adult should know that you just don't call a woman a b I didn't know that. I really didn't know what to expect, but I didn't know it was going to be that intense. She's going to be crying a lot. She keep f***ing me, though. Shit. I mean, I like it, but it's not something I would wear. Oh, I thought you liked it. I would love to sit here and say that everything was just great, but it wasn't. Oh, you have lost your damn mind. You can't act black. I'm kind of waiting for somebody to go, hey, you know, but, but is that going to happen? But it's not going to you know. That word was still, you know, like... What? What is happening, dude? Yo, he said it. He's Italian. He's Italian. I'm reminding myself that he's Italian. Okay. <laughs> he just said it. He said it. Oh! This show... I don't care that it has the Ice Cube cosign. This is insane. He said it with a hard R, too. You can tell. Okay, this show fulfills the ultimate fantasy for white people, okay, which is like to be able to just be black for a day without any of the repercussions. Like, it's literally the greatest, like, uh, fulfillment of white person desire, dude. Like, there's so many people like this that, oh my God. Oh, we, oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so fucking good. Oh, God. I got angry sometimes at being misunderstood. I don't want to have to choose my words. You want to sit on the little lily white pedestal and say is not happening in the world, and that's Bruno, don't piss me off. What happened between Bruno and myself? 
was really challenging. <laughs> you have these judgments that you have the right to have. I know we had differences going into the budget. I didn't know how great those differences were. What are you going to do about it? I don't know how we're going to make it. We did something no one else has ever done. I don't like being made up. And none of us will be the same again. Yeah. Please don't believe the hype. Everything yeah. in the world ain't black and white. Oh Everybody ain't God. a stereotype. Just because I look wrong, I'm about to do right. Black as midnight or bright as Snow White. You better do me right or I'ma have to take flight. Put you on nice, blast on you twice. If you a zebra, better come out them stripes. Please don't believe the hype. Everything in the world ain't black and white. My name is Bruno, and during this project, I'm going to become a black person, along with my family. <laughs> my name is Rose. I can't. I'm so I can't. It's, is it going to... I feel like it's going to keep being funny every time. Why did they think this was... How did they do this? 2006 was such a weird... I saw this video saying, Logan, you're my hero, saying I'm the man like some type of Robert... What? 17 years old, and I'm a white girl. It's just so exciting to be a part of this project. I don't know what to expect. I'll pick up some other affectations and characteristics and maybe end up walking a little differently. My name is Carmen, and I'm going to become what? black. I'm getting spray painted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning black gradually. I'm Brian. I'm 40, and I'm going to become a white man. I'm still amazed that all of these colors make me white. I see browns and blues and greens and reds, but the finished product, I look like a white guy. I'm knit and I'm 16 and I'm going to be transformed into a white dude. My name is Renee and by changing the color of my skin, I will be able to see what it's like to be white. I've never experienced what it's like to be treated black. I don't know what that means or entails. The transformation is definitely underway. <laughs> It was also ahead of the game because, like, this is every Instagram model now. You know what I mean? Like, how is what she's doing any different than the black fishing that happens on Instagram? Like, wow, you guys, you guys love Rachel Dolezal, but when she does it, oh, no, it's unacceptable. Hypocrites, all of you. Hey, you sussy baka. Hey, sussy baka. Hey, That's right. sussy I had the Rachel Dolezal clip lined up for this. Thank you to the chatter who replied to me with baka. it. Hey, you sussy baka. That's right. Got him. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, this is so good. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God, dude. Oh, my God. This is so stupid. I remember watching this. In a 300 person lecture hall full of people who did not find this funny, it was so tough not to giggle the entire time. This is so dumb. This is the dumbest thing on the planet. I get to learn just how it feels to go out in the world looking black. In my opinion, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> Hello, girl. <laughs> oh my god, what are they doing? Oh god, oh god, oh god. This is the greatest. Oh, no! I look oh, up in the no. mirror and I'm like, damn, I'm white! Uh, being a former basketball player, I always thought how nice it would be to be able to jump, get off the ground, <laughs> leap, and slam dunk like these guys can. <laughs> there's no doubt about it. Uh, black is superior, you know, physically, uh, hands down. The faster, they leap higher. They're just awesome, awesome athletes. That's it. We're done. <laughs> finished. Yes, I do look like a white guy. Totally. Totally. Yeah, I think I'll break out the sticks, play a little golf. Awesome, dude. Awesome. <laughs> you know, I've been trying to imagine what it's going to look like. To see Renee and Nick for the first time white. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, look as white as you. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I should be laughing at you. <laughs> that is too funny, though. Uh, Claire, I hear you know we got some business to take care of. I don't think so. <laughs> Not my type. <laughs>
okay, you can't take this the wrong way because remember, <laughs> we're in makeup, but I mean, you don't look anything like a guy that I would be anywhere attracted to. Come on, white girl. Come on, white girl. I don't, I don't want to. Come on, white girl. <laughs> Just a pick. You be scared. I thought I was weak. I know, I know. <laughs> Oh my God, that is so strange. Oh my God, Bruno. It's nice. He's into it. Yeah, I, I love black. What? I mean, visually and somehow heart-wise. You don't look anything what? like a guy. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, that is so strange. Oh my God, Bruno. It's nice. Yeah, I, I love black. I mean, visually and somehow <laughs> heart wise. Oh no! Dude, what is happening right now? Oh my god. There's a warmth. Yeah, you're beautiful. Thank you. Well, you look like a really nice man. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, it's just really beautiful. That's just like I'm in love with this woman. It's beautiful. Okay, so when do we get to see Nick? So, because now I'm really curious I know. now. I know. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow. Wow. Nick. Wow. wow. You look good. Wow. You're sexy. You're sexy. Is that what you said? Oh my God. <laughs> you, oh my God. Look, like, look like at those a... shoes and everything. Look, you almost look like Michael Jackson. Oh, you had a lift your head up. What's your hair? Look at that. Look at your, your mustache. <laughs> look at your teeth. Look at your pimples and everything. No, dog. He already had those. Uh, oh, they, 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 Young MJ. <laughs> 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 You're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm a little Amazing bit job. Down. You totally look like a little black girl. Beautiful job. Do I look like me? No. No? Would you recognize me? No. On the street? No. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. You look great. Let me see your hair. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. We look like twins, huh? <laughs> Today was like the experimental day. It was the yay or nay. Will this work? I'm very confident I can pull this off. I went golfing as a white guy because that's a predominantly white sport. I wanted to see how I would get treated. You have a pack of teas as well? Yeah. Good deal, good deal. Okay, well said. Thank, Thank you very you. much, sir. Oh, terrible. I talk to people that I wouldn't normally talk to. Oh, you got a pretty good stroke going there, so I come over to see what you're doing here so I can try to straighten my game like that. So there you go. You know, we're shopping for clubs, so we're just interested to see what kind of clubs you're using. Yeah, I have these so. custom made at some little shop down in Burbank. Oh, okay. I feel very accepted as if I was one of their own. Yeah. Appreciate your time. Your name? I'm John. John Brian White. I'm Brian White. My first time as a black girl, I went to South Central. Going undercover in the black world is amazing. People were talking to me like, my sister. <laughs> See, Lee was trying to holler. What? Holler means he's trying to go out with you. Oh, really? Yeah. He was liking you, like digging the way you look. You know. <laughs> look at you trying to get a boyfriend. <laughs> when I'm in black makeup, I wasn't like scared. If anything, I was just like, I look black. People regarded me as a black girl. Why did anybody think this was acceptable? I, I just don't understand how, like, bro, what happened? Like, how did Ice Cube think that this would be, like, this would pop off? Like, he still defends it. I mean, it's great content, but, like, also at the same time, it's, it's crazy. Like, 2006 was such a weird time, dude. Holy shit. Like, I can't believe they won an Emmy. It was selling. I needed a pair of shoes, so I went shopping. As a white guy, I'm relaxed when I'm shopping. 
I put on my white makeup and I'm having fun. Okay, answer my questions for you. I like these two here. Okay. Uh, I kind of like that one better. What size um, do you wear? Uh, 11. And then the most amazing thing happened. The guy actually took my foot and put it in the shoe and put a shoehorn in the back to make sure my foot slide in. That feels good. This kind of shoe should be pretty comfortable right from the start. Mm -hmm. I have never in my life had someone, you know, they, they come out and give me my shoe, but I've never had anyone actually unlace it, open it, shoehorn the back, and slide my foot into the shoe. Is this what the white guys get? This is all the benefits they get? It's never happened to me black in 40 years. The first time I go and buy shoes is white. I have it done. I was like, wow. The he does. He does look like the Dave Chappelle bit for sure. Possibilities are endless. Over the next several weeks, my family is going to be living with the white family. I'll have the opportunity to discuss the experiences that I have with the family that I'll be living with, uh, actual black people. My expectations of living with a white family, uh, I, I was just hoping going in that they were nice, um, that they were clean. Thank you, Morgan. I'm pretty much open-minded, just like, okay, let's just see what happened. Oh my God, guys. Oh this my God, this bit. is it. We're meeting them. Home, <laughs> sweet home. I have no idea what it's gonna be like to live with a black family. I have the sense that I'm heading into something <laughs> difficult <laughs> and profound. I think everybody was trying to size each other when we walked in the door. You know, see how their reaction was when they saw us. Were they pleased or displeased or scared? Oh, Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. Very good. Thank you. When we first met, it was kind of intense. And a basketball. And a basketball. We saw That's all new for everyone. The nerves of not knowing what to expect. Moving into a house with a family we didn't know. In a home we weren't familiar with. I like to come. When I'm getting ready to cook, but the kitchen is clean. Mm -hmm. Dishes. Yeah. Renee seems very strong-minded, very clear about what she thinks. Somebody uses the kitchen when they're done, they walk out, it should be just like they came in. Bruno, he seemed like he was a pretty grounded guy. Thought, you know, yeah, I, I would hang out with Bruno. How'd you guys, uh, when you first saw each other, what'd you think? That was intense. Oh, yeah. Was it? Yeah. When I walk in. And he's this beautiful, warm, black man. <laughs> I fell in love with him. <laughs> ding, ding. Well, when I first met Carmen, I thought, she's weird. She seemed kind of emotional. Nick is very introspective. He was uh, the quiet one of the bunch. Lock on the door. We don't want the black people stealing anything. <laughs> oh. My mom and Bruno don't exactly spend a lot of time with black people. So I think I'm a little nervous that they might say the wrong thing. First thing we had to do was teach each other how to pass as the members of the other race. We're going to help each other walk. I'm sorry. That's... I mean, we know he says the N-word with a hard R. So... Wow, that's... Uh... I mean, this show is uh, insane. To walk and talk to talk. 